So for today's video, we're taking a look at a mobile RPG titled Guardian Tales, and the team behind this game sponsored this video, and they pretty much want me to give you guys an overview on the game. So that's what we're going to do. But I also decided to record and edit this in a Let's Play style, so we'll discuss the game's features and then jump to my first time slash blind experience with the game. So what is Guardian Tales? As you guys can see, it is an old school styled RPG, an isometric 2D action adventure filled with puzzles, exciting characters with unique styles of combat, a humorous story with tons of callbacks and easter eggs, and tons of different themed maps to explore. Overall, it feels like you're playing an old school RPG with a huge focus on story and fun gameplay, rather than an overwhelming amount of controls and unnecessary gameplay elements. The game features more than 50 characters and over 200 pieces of equipment, with 10 different equipment types, so like a one handed sword, greatsword, rifle, gauntlets, you get it. And if this sounds like it's some kind of collection game, that's because it is. It blends the classic action RPG with gotcha elements. Characters can be customized with equipment, costumes, and more. The game also features real-time PvP, no autoplay, 1v1s, you know, flex that EP, raid bosses, dungeons, and a unique tower mode. I'm also recording this post first impressions, and from the couple hours I played, it really just felt like I was back on my Game Boy Advanced SP in 2004. It has a huge focus on story, but there were a ton of side missions and maps to unlock as well. There's also two things I didn't experience, being joining a guild, where you can hang with other members in real time, and also the floating castle mode, where you can create your own castle, customize structures, and generate wealth over time. Now before we get into the game, keep in mind that this is cut in a way that removes a ton of dialogue. So there are some spoilers for the first couple of hours, but there's a lot of missing context and things I think you'll appreciate if you play the game yourself. So, if any of what we just talked about sounded interesting, there's a download link in the description below where you can watch the rest of this video to see if it's something you want to try. Okay, so here we are in training camp. Pretty cool looking captain. And there's my normie ass. Let's go with Let's Mel Knight. Passionate, aggressive, polite. Let's do this. Nice to meet you. I'm kind of a fan of polite, but I feel like aggressive is just, it's more fun. Yo, this, uh, style of graphics is taking me back. Bruh. I got saved? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'd be dead from that. But, uh, thank you, Guardian Angel. Level 1. DPS. Level 70? What's this? Oh, we can lift stuff. Goodbye. Oh, yes, I was gonna say, is there any kind of currency in one of these? You guys might hear me switch microphones, so it might sound like a little muffled, and that's to prevent the background noise of maintenance walking around with a leaf blower. Oh, I got my first sword. Tutorial sword. Tap anywhere to close. Oh, now I can attack. Okay. Time to end this man's career. I'm glad you can move diagonal. And you can hold this button to run. What was that? She looked a lot like us. Oh, it's like my ultimate. Tutorial shield, okay. They're calling her a monster? Hey, it's the captain. Oh, is that like the... the gotcha animation? That's pretty cool. Lord knows I don't need another gotcha in my life, but sometimes it just happens, you know? This is like the perfect area for a boss. Yep. Right on top of me. Minotaur. Okay. Oh, is she just shooting random weapons? Look at that. It's like summoning weapons from uh, a few portals, like another dimension. Reminds me of Gilgamesh. And she pretty much just soloed this boss. <laughs> I was just too distracted by the massive summoning of weapons. Just hold on until you get to a safe place, okay? Thank you, Queen Camilla. 
We'll see you at the shelter. I hope so. I have a bad feeling about this. So if you guys haven't realized by now, this seems to be a very story-driven game. That's kind of cool. Oh. Okay. One tapped us. She's had enough. What? She's like, oh, I didn't realize my little sister is the next avatar. Okay, so I don't think I can attack right now, but I can, I can move and dodge this. Oh no. We're gonna get separated. Prologue cleared. All right, attendance check. Thank you. There's a guardian pass. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. I sat there for like five minutes listening to that. Oh, wow. Look at all these weapons. Does the weapon come as a character or how does it work i don't know i guess we'll find out hero oh, the art is very nice let's see who's my favorite this is too hard oh she saved me again oh man this is such like a nostalgic experience I'm guessing the shield just boost my defense and not like use it to block stuff. Oh hey, I almost killed you. Okay, I don't know how to get across there. Maybe I need a special hero. Is she following me? We're going the same way. And you throw it here. Okay, it's on fire. And now I throw it here. And here. See, we got puzzles. Oh, I just light all of this? Alright. Mole glove. You can now break small rocks. I know who I'm killing. Yes, please help me. What? Oh. Okay, I thought she was just gonna, like, walk past me. She's joined my party. She can actually do stuff? Is she throwing mushrooms? I got a one star? You kidding me? This is too heavy. Looks like I need another another skill. Part of me wants to go back and three star this, so I'm gonna do it. Four chest, three gold, whatever that is. And wow, that character looks badass. Who are you? A secret passage, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Secret forest stage has been unlocked. Nice. Three star. Free gem? Okay. Are those gems for me to roll? To summon? Summons. Not available. Clear the stage below and adventure to unlock the content. World 1-4. Here I come. Did we do the secret one? Oh, we didn't. Let's do it. One chest? Okay. This character looks really cool. Level 30? Oh. Okay. Ouch. I have a feeling that this character is supposed to kill me 
But I also have a feeling that if you're good enough... This can't be never mind. <laughs> what? You know, this is a secret area. I was like, this is part of the main game? I'm stuck here until I hit level 30? No, let's just, uh, let's go back. I guess we're not ready for that secret area. But it's kind of cool that even in the first map, you can unlock a secret area that's way too strong for you. Oh, look, I got a new skill. There it is. A few seconds for cooldown. Nice little whirlwind slash. What's this? Free heals. <laughs> Look at us. Will we get drunk? Will you be my pet? Okay, I guess not. Oh, I guess you can follow the butterflies to a secret spot. Another map. I don't know, man. Is it gonna have another level 30 that's gonna kill me in two shots? A fire, dude? Hello? Such a nice day. I wish I could lie down and nap. Are you on face break? I thought that symbol looked familiar. Thank you. Killing it with the soundtrack. Alright, so I have about 10 minutes of edited footage, and there's still about an hour to go, or an hour of footage to go through. So to speed things up so that I don't drag this video on too long, we're just gonna cut a big chunk. Yeah, right there's good. We're gonna speed it up to the more juicy bits. Still an asshole. Oh no. Oh, hey. Little pup is here. Guardian Wolf. Excuse me, good sir. These are the guys that captured me. And the girl. Give me the option to torture him. You're lying. Leave them. I'm not helping you guys out. Oh, so like, all weapon classes don't have the same specials. Like, the this bow shoots out this. That's fucking sick. Okay. You know what time it is, right? Hey, rare character. I remember seeing her. You have to clear world one to unlock the next hero slot. I can remove my main character. There we go. Rearrange. You shouldn't bother me with this. A three-star sword. Is that good? She doesn't look normal, but she is. Town guide, Zoe. Red Hood, Elvera. Damn, level 20. Okay, okay. 140% DPS. Let's go. Creates a cyclone. Puts enemies in a downed state. Oh, sick. Okay. Night Captain Ava. Hey, this is it, guys. No, it's not. Never mind. Oh, it is. It is. It's the one. Canterbury's best hero award goes to who? Dragon Ava. Oh my, look at that art. Vishuvac. Look at this animation. Like, they have dialogue and everything ready for it. Look, I was, I was ready to stop recording because you know i got a tight schedule today but but lord let's see let's give her the minotaur for five percent attack oh she has two slots okay is that because i leveled her or because she's just rare i don't know what kind of weapon she uses gauntlets okay you have to 
complete the blacksmith quest to start enhancing weapons. I def gotta come back and complete these. So let's go here. Oh. That's just my basic attack? It's like a gap closer, leaps to the enemy. What's my special? Oh my, RNG has smiled upon me. Help. They're running from this? Is this the blacksmith? I think it is. Nice to meet you. I'm the greatest blacksmith in the land. Find a weapon that's worth breaking. Is that what she says? Wait a second. Dude, it just gets better and better. One more treasure to find and 14 more coins. Oh, this must be the fourth. I don't want to be done with this dungeon after grabbing this. Master Blade. Oh. Wait, is this the Master Blade's power? Just melting these guys. Okay. And it's destroyed. Has anyone seen the Master Blade? It should be here. Take this laser gun to defeat the evil pig that's destroying your village. You don't need a Master Sword, you just need this assault rifle from the year 2089. I guess this is better than nothing. Well, now we can enhance our weapons. If you three star two levels, that's one roll. All right, guys, this is where we're going to stop because I've been recording for about two hours and I want to have some time to edit this video and get other stuff done. But uh, overall, this has been a pretty fun experience. I was going to stop at certain points, but it's just so fun that I wanted to keep going. And plus, we got a badass character. But I really like this game because it's not like your typical gotcha RPG at all. It's not playing itself. It's not boring gameplay that you just stare at characters attacking once a turn or just random numbers flying on the screen. It's an actual RPG. It feels like I'm back in the day playing one of my favorite Game Boy Advanced RPG titles. And then you mix that with the gotcha element. I think it's a nice blend of genres. And I think they did a really good job. Plus it has a funny, cute sense of humor and the design and the music is great. I don't really have anything bad to say about this game unless you don't like gotchas. I mean, if you play them, you know what you're signing up for. You can choose to be free to play. You can choose to be a whale, maybe somewhere in between. But if you don't like gotchas, if you don't like the gotcha element at all, then yeah, you might not like this game. If you guys want to try out Guardian Tales, there is a link down below in the description of this video. And thanks again to Guardian Tales for sponsoring this video. But with all that being said, thanks for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. See you soon, friends.